Welcome to Cardium, the podcast that gets to the heart of travel healthcare and asks, what's your why? With each episode, we explore the topics and issues that impact healthcare professionals in the fields of nursing and allied health. Now, here are your hosts, Sunny and Matt from RES Medical. Well, Sunny, it's great to be here with you and with our listeners out there. In our very first episode, we want to give everybody an idea about who we are here at Cardium and what you can expect from our podcast. Maybe a little bit about me. I'll start. How's that? Sounds good. Well, as you mentioned, I am Matt Neal. I have been married for 20 years. I've got three beautiful children, one in college, one in high school, and one in elementary school. So we're covering the bases pretty well. We love to travel. We, we, all of my kids are involved in sports, so they keep us very, very busy, and we're just enjoying life. I've been with Arias for 15 years and started off as a recruiter and moved into various roles, leadership roles after that, and I've, I've loved every minute of it. So That's tell awesome. me about you now, Sonny. Well, you know, um, we'll be a wife of 23 years this year, mother of three beautiful boys and two fur babies. And my boys are 19, 17, and 16, so they keep me busy and worrisome as well. So I we love doing all kinds of things, sports. Um, I love to cook and bake and crochet and read, photography, um, as a family, we're always doing new things. Um, we love to explore, hike. Um, we do like to do sports together, even though they like to make fun of me and call me not an athlete. Um, and I've been with Arias Medical for 10 years, starting out as a recruiter and then moving into various roles from consulting to leadership as well. So, um, but most of all, doing beautiful things such as this. Love it. Love it. Sonny, I think it's important to set the stage for our audience as to why we're here and why our content is of value in the healthcare space. And we start talking about health, traveling healthcare professionals. And when, when someone asks me that, it really comes down to supply and demand. There are so many healthcare jobs out there, and there's just not enough healthcare professionals to fill the need. Yeah, and there's so many reasons to that, too, you know, based mm-hmm. on... Um, whether it's because we're living longer or because there's just not an, um, the portability of nurses and not being able to get to them because of rural areas, all mm-hmm. of that. So when you have someone that, let's say there's a retirement or a medical leave, maternity leave, a sh- just a shortage in the hospital, it, it really is, it becomes critical pretty darn fast. Yes. And yes. I think that's where healthcare professionals jump right in, traveling healthcare professionals jump right in and able to fill the need right away. And and what, what a great way of doing that, uh, of helping out right away when they, otherwise the hospital would be in a bind. Yes. And they rely on that core staff. And um, so then you've got that gap that's still there because core staff tire. And so travel healthcare really meets a need. It does. You know, when it comes to a podcast like Cardium, we believe this podcast is valuable to all healthcare professionals for those who travel, uh, maybe those who are considering travel as a career and those who are working full-time in the field today. You know, our goal is to really to provide content that's informative, impactful, and inspiring and doing that through interviews with our featured guests. Yes. And, you know, and I think that's so important because with our seasoned travelers, they get to hear and get a sense of community with our seasoned guests. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they can hear someone. And, you know, when you're traveling, you might be a little alone out there. You may not have another person with you. You may, but you may not. And so to hear someone on this podcast and go, gosh, I can relate to that. And I definitely have been through that. Or I'm learning so much from what that person has to say you get a sense of community and that's what we're hoping with this Mm -hmm. podcast. And I think we're going to get that, but also with the first time travelers or the ones that are novice to this, we're hoping that they'll learn, but also a sharing of information from new to old, old to new, because there's definitely something that the, the older um, vets can learn from the newer ones Mm -hmm. coming in as well too. Yeah, I th- I, when you start to think about the traveling community, mm-hmm. there's such a wealth of information yes. out there. And there's not one vault, not one repository to keep it in. No. And so it, we're hoping that we can at least crack the vault a little bit <laughs> yes. and, and get that information out there. You know, when we introduced you, you introduced our podcast. And I'm sure there's listeners out there. Why Cardium? What is that name? 
And what does it relate to the podcast? You know, and that's a, a great question. Cardium is actually, it's, it's, in English term, it's a combination form. Um, so it's usually paired up with a medical term. So you'll hear it a lot with like pericardium or myocardium. So it's related to the heart, tissue surrounding the heart. And that's what we want to do here is related um, to getting to the heart of travel healthcare and looking at the many layers of this unique career. Yeah, I, I think the name really makes sense with what we're the message that we're trying to convey. We hope it does. We also hope to really create a community here at Cardium. It's important to our listeners to know when they join us, there's going to be value in the content and topics, that they're relatable. Each episode will be authentic. So we want we want to encourage our audience to come back and listen in. Yeah, but we got to remember we're just the hosts. Yes, yes, we, we are just the hosts. <laughs> and it really is our guests that our listeners are really going to want to hear and I think it's time to take a listen to a few episodes to see what what we're in for. I've always wanted a job and career where I'm hands-on and I feel like I'm helping others firsthand. And I, I love days whenever I'm like, I go home and I really feel in my heart that I've made a difference for someone or I caught something or, um, you know, even saved someone's life. It, it's really important for me and yeah, it makes me happy to help others and I feel like being on the front lines in the hospitals and um, starting this career has just taught me so much about myself and what's important in life. Um, don't be afraid. Speak up early and say, you know what? Can I see that one more time? Can I shadow somebody on that surgical case? Or can I shadow my preceptor one more day in the ICU with a, a sick, sick patient? So I ensure that I'm going to be able to meet the expectations of the performance you need me to have. So, you know, early on, really be an advocate for yourself mm -hmm. to set yourself up for success. Yeah, unfortunately, right now, they usually have to tell them, well, give me, you know, two weeks then to a month mm -hmm. that, and I'll be able to get licensed in your state and be able to talk to you and help you. Um, in the case of a compact, if those two people were in compact member states and that's a PT or PTA, you know, could be able to say, well, let me, um, let me look and see where you live. Uh, you're in a compact member state, give me 10 minutes or so, uh, so I can complete that jurisprudence requirement, be able to get a compact privilege to work in your state, I'll call you back, and then I can help you that same day. Um, I think that's, you know, it, a kind of quick turnaround is um, something that is possible, or going to be made possible by something like a PT compact. I mean, I go to places that have a specific need, and just knowing that they need me makes me want to go makes you feel wanted. I mean, everybody wants to feel wanted. Yeah. And knowing that I have experience and that people actually do want me to go to work with them makes me feel better. Well, I'll tell you what, Sonny, I cannot wait for people to hear those I episodes know, in their too. entirety. Well, I really think we should leave our listeners, our audience, with what really mm -hmm. stands out to me about our podcast, the why. Yeah, at the close of each episode, we ask our guests, um, we'll have a why moment. And it's basically giving us their purpose for why they do what they do. It's my favorite part. It is actually, it's my favorite part. So I know I'll just head you off at the past and tell you my why. So how's that? <laughs> okay, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to say that I started off being a recruiter 15 years ago because I just could not wait to be a healthcare <laughs> recruiter. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not the case. I will say I've grown into my why especially the last 15 years, really helping people. You know, being a dad, being a husband, being a friend, my role has been to help people. I get to continue that role. And at first it was about helping people find jobs and helping a, helping a hospital find a solution for their staff. That was awesome. My, my role has changed, just evolved to be a bit, a bit broader, knowing that they are helping people. And what better way to do it in a hospital setting or acute care setting? That to me is when you're talking about positively impacting people that are taking care of others' loved ones, man, I don't know if there's a much better way of, of going home and high-fiving yourself and saying, man, I, we did a good job today. Yeah. We helped people find jobs. We connected some hospitals that were in and had a staffing need. And, and people are getting to see parts of the country and patients at the end of the day, patients are being taken care of, man, that's, that completes the circle. 
And regardless of the tough times and everything else you go through, when you help people connect the, connect the dots and, and complete the circle, it's very fulfilling. So I think that's my why. I get to live it every day, so I'm darn lucky. So now I'm going to throw it back to you. Uh, I knew you were going to do that. Sonny, what is your why? Starting out young, you know, had a couple of things throughout my youth, we would say. And those obstacles had me face a couple of paths that I could go down. And I chose to be more open and say, um, be a warrior of kindness. And that's what I do. And you can see that there's a thread in all of my roles, uh, whether I'm consulting or recruiting or, um, you know, what I'm currently doing, that I am open. I want that shared connectedness. I want to, you know, hear that, what that person has to say. So no matter what I'm doing for you, I, I'm saying to them, I hear you, I see you. And I'm, you know, whatever I do, I'm providing you that service, um, but I'm delivering as well. And, um, and I want to make sure that, um, that I'm validating that person because in every action and everything that I do as a mom, a wife, a daughter, a sister, um, a worker, a manager, a whatever I am, um, that I am acting out of kindness and servitude, but also that I am validating the human that is sitting in front of me because everyone needs to feel validated. And that's my why. That's great, Sonny. That's a great why. Thank you for sharing that with us today. Thank you. And um, that is pretty much what I love about our show, guys, and what we're going to be asking everyone, and we hope you tune in. Um, we love our impactful, inspiring shows, and listeners, we hope you'll tune in. Subscribe to Cardian Podcast wherever you're listening, and please give us a review. We want to hear what you think and what our listeners um, want to hear from our show and what resonates with you as we plan our future episodes. And make sure you visit our website, cardiumpodcast.com, for in-depth info about our episodes, behind-the-scene content. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can do that on our site as well. We're also on Facebook, so follow us and become part of our Cardium community. We're excited to take the journey with you. Until next time. You've been listening to Cardium from Arius Medical with your hosts, Sunny and Matt. We're the podcast that gets to the heart of travel health care. To subscribe, access show notes, or to learn more, visit cardiumpodcast.com. C-A-R-D-I-U-M podcast.com. Or wherever you're listening, be sure to rate us, review, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.